standing room only. Meghan and Harry's wedding feast will not be a seated affair as it's revealed trendy bowl food will be served as guests mingle. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will not have a sit-down wedding breakfast after their ceremony on Saturday, but have plumped for trendy bowl food instead. Their 600 guests will be standing up in St. George's Hall at Windsor Castle when they are served seasonal mini main courses, made by the Queen's kitchen staff and presented to them by liveried waiters and waitresses. Bowl food has become a popular choice for business events because it is more sociable, allowing guests to mingle and network while eating. However, it is a somewhat more surprising choice for a royal wedding. Still, Harry and Meghan hope that it will make the occasion less fussy and allow them to move around the room greeting as many guests as possible. Guests will also feast on canapes during the lunchtime reception, which will last around two and a half hours and includes speeches and cutting of the cake. Each morsel has been crafted to be consumed in just two delicate bites. The Queen is officially hosting the event and Buckingham Palace staff revealed that the menu would comprise classic dishes made from seasonal British produce, much from the monarch's own estates. Harry and his bride-to-be have tasted and selected their wedding reception menu. The couple apparently visited Windsor Castle to sample menu suggestions in the Great Kitchen which dates from the reign of the 14th century monarch Edward III. It is believed to be the oldest working kitchen in the country, having served more than 30 monarchs. Royal chef Mark Flanagan is leading the 30-strong catering team and said, The day of the wedding has fallen very kindly for us. All the British vegetables are just coming into season. And that's been a point of focus for us. We know the couple wanted us to make sure we used all of the local seasonal produce as much as possible throughout their menu and this recent good weather is really helping us to achieve that. He added the couple have been involved in every detail. Megan is a keen foodie who used to run her own lifestyle website, which featured her favorite recipes and restaurants. She also shares a love of organic produce with her future father-in-law, Prince Charles. Mr. Flanagan would not discuss the dishes in detail but produce such as asparagus, peas and tomatoes are in season, providing a wealth of options for the chef, who has worked with some of the world's best, including Michelle and Albert True. He added, there's no experimentation on Saturday whatsoever, tried and tested and predominantly classics. Over the next few days staff will start washing and peeling vegetables, so they can save time for presentation, Mr. Flanagan said. A separate dinner for 200 is being held at Frogmore House by the Prince of Wales later in the evening.